hey welcome back to the lecture so in this lecture let's understand some of the CAN's most attractive features now the CAN protocol the CAN controller along with CAN signaling and uh, the CAN physical layer is actually a low-cost solution all right so CAN controllers along with its physical connection is actually a low-cost one and second feature is extreme robustness now the can is actually uh, designed to work under various dynamic conditions of the automobiles and uh, automation industry where the ambient noises are actually pretty high can and its signaling is designed in such a way that it is immune to ambient noises of the application area now can uses something called as differential signaling and about that you will come to know later part of this section by using differential signaling the can is more immune to the noise and it exhibits most robust solution now high data transmission speeds where the data rate of the messages you transmit on the can bus can reach up to one megabit per second now later part of the section we'll understand how to configure the can data rate to work under 500 kbps 125 kbps or even you can reach up to 1 megabit per second and all are actually based on the clock speed by which you run the can controller and as we make a progress we'll understand those things now the can is reliable and excellent error handling and error confinement abilities now can protocol comes with I mean the CAN specification comes with error detection and error handling now the error detection is actually part of the specification and uh, whenever transmission detects error and that error can be detected and transmission is capable of retransmitting the message and thereby resolving the errors so CAN specification has excellent error handling and error confinement abilities now automatic read transmission of faulty messages as i said a can transmitter can understand that transmission didn't go well and it can even retransmit the faulty messages automatic bus disconnection of nodes that are suspected to be physically faulty now the physically faulty nodes or can nodes can you know disturb the network they can flood the network with error frames and they can cause problem to the nearby nodes so that is why can specification uh, suggests something called as auto bus off auto bus off is automatically disconnection of faulty nodes this is actually part of the specification and controller has that intelligence in order to go away from the can bus or can network whenever it is malfunctioning now after that can uses something called functional addressing that means data messages do not contain any source or destination addresses only identifiers relating to their function or priority being used remember that can nodes which are there on the can network are broadcast type systems that means when a can node transmits a message that message is heard by all the nodes which are there on the CAN network there is nothing called an address specific to the node okay so just like like in I2C you have uh, an address specific to a node isn't it but in CAN there is nothing called addressing okay so an identifier is used which actually use it to distinguish between the different messages and also that identifier is used to resolve the priority when two or more nodes are contending for the bus to transmit so more on this we'll see as we make a progress all right so these are some of the most attractive features of a can node